After 36 years, William Shakespeare's unforgettable romantic tragedy, Romeo and Juliet, is back on Broadway, starring Orlando Bloom and Condola Rashad. We're here at the Richard Rogers Theater on opening night to celebrate with the creators and cast of this new modern revival. Ready for some romance this evening? Yeah, except somebody told me, I don't know if it's true, but somebody said everybody dies. I mean, what kind of romance is that? I love a good romance. I love a good tragic love story. Um, I've always loved this story in particular, and I think with this new twist, with Condola, with Orlando, I'm really excited to see that chemistry, that passion on stage. I'm so happy for uh, Condola, you know, I directed her and her first Broadway show, and we did Stick Fly, and I'm uh, just excited to be here. What I've heard from my daughter is that this is a very good and solid company and she feels privileged to be a part of it. How excited are you to see Orlando Bloom make his big Broadway debut? Romeo and Juliet, it's a big, big start. It's always exciting when a uh, high profile actor, particularly someone of Orlando's caliber, uh, takes the plunge. I think it's a very brave venture indeed for him to be doing and I, I'm, I'm full of admiration for him. Big fan of him as an actor and I think he's gonna crush it tonight. I've, I've heard amazing things. Anytime you have you know, actors coming from different mediums to the to the Broadway stage or just you know, the boards in general. It's a good thing, because here, it's where it's at. It's where you gotta put the work in. And I'm excited to see what he brings. Congratulations, opening night. How are you feeling tonight? I feel fantastic. I feel um, very lucky, fortunate. I feel kind of amazed and um, bewildered. It just feels really great. And the, the, the fact that my cast is here, we just, we've worked so hard. We've worked so hard, we've worked together so hard. And so the fact that we made it to opening night feels really good. When opening night comes around, oh, the skin is tingling, the energy is off the charts. So I, I'm, I'm very, very happy, on top of the moon. Shakespeare has many, many specific challenges, and, and just when you think that you sort of met one of them, that he brings up a whole bunch of others. So it's been a real challenge, and, it's, and for me, it's just a, a gift to be able to do it every night. When it comes to the human condition, Mr. Shakespeare, I don't know, I'm, I'm really trying, I'm starting to think that he was like some kind of a prophet from another planet, because he was so laser beam in his understanding of, of the inner workings of, of the heart and mind of people. I think William Shakespeare wrote it for his youth generation and so we're bringing it to the youth of, of New York and indeed, you know, internationally there seems to be a lot of people coming so it's, it's, a, it's a really, really amazing. It's the most fantastically passionate drama against uh, living in a world of hate. People tend to forget how layered the story is and how many different aspects of love and, and duty and dysfunction one finds in Romeo and Juliet. Uh, th that's the first thing and I think that this production really has managed to shine a light on all these interesting aspects that sometimes tend to retreat to the periphery of the story. So I think that's a real, real achievement. Tell me a little bit about your visionary director, David Laveau. How has he been? You know, he's great because he wanted to do this production and he wanted it to be contemporary, but he did it in such a smart way because he doesn't try to hide Shakespearean language to make it seem more contemporary or dumb it down, if you will. Here were two young people who are wholly modern, wholly daring, but with real theater actors who had you know, who were able to, to do that. So it seemed inevitable. At its core, it's vibrant and it's vital and it's dangerous and it's real and it's something that I get the joy to speak every night and I'm so grateful for that. Mm -hmm.